What up, my peoples? So, <clears throat> um, I want to have fun today. Um, I haven't been able to paint for a while, um, but I don't have no time for a hardest block because of the event that's in July. Uh, I'll post a picture here for y'all, but <clears throat> yeah, I just want y'all to, you know, vibe with me, see my process. Um, it's not going to be too long, probably a 30 minute video, if that. I want to focus on the wings, trying to get this portion here to look like this. And we're still not done with this portion, nor nor anything on him. And I'm behind on this piece. So this is my reference. Um, and you can kind of see the reference itself opposed to like, you know. Um, but yeah, this is my reference. Uh, we're gonna change this so we're gonna add some some critiques here uh, and, and things like that that you know the clouds are different more realistic and but yeah I think it's my first painting video um, I'm still trying to get into the whole take out my phone and record everything that I'm doing um, prior to doing it, it it's, it's just a learning curve honestly but these are my tones i'm losing uh we're using oil i uh, may have to make some more tones because these are we'll figure it out but i don't know we don't we got a lot just gotta pull that back Let me cut the light on so we can have a little note. Bam! I don't know why I be forgetting I'm blind half the time. Not all the time, but half the time I am. So, all right. Put some vibes on. Let's get right. some stuff around, fix this up a bit. I'm too hard for you to bone. Okay, here we go. All right. I still got demons on my younger days. Like going crazy. I'm a mama, I've been hustling in the sandbox. I'm a, um, I actually want y'all to be able to see the different colors I'm using, but we'll figure that part out. All right. So, let's go with a little bit. Guys, a better look at this. Let me post this here for you. I'm so unorganized right now. I'm sorry, I haven't put it in so long. Um, and it hasn't really been that long, it's been like a week or two. You don't mind, it's been very spotty. So, we'll put this right here just for reference sake. So I'm not really using um, the website really going crazy, but um, I'm not really following the reference to the T. As an artist, I feel like we we I feel like it's still from God. Let me be real with you, um, in the sense of just just following the picture itself. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna follow the tones. Um, I'm gonna give you some of these shapes to kind of get those curvatures, you know, give the flow of the wing. But in retrospect, I'm an artist. So to look at something and do it exactly like that, we've already passed that stage of our career. So we've already mastered how to replicate a picture. The goal now is to show artistry, if I'm saying that we're right, your artistic side in every piece that you do. Um, and like I said, you'll see the clouds. I've, I've mashed them up a little bit. Uh, when this is done, all this will be like darker, everything around the borders, which will then bring the image or the viewer's eyes into the image, which is here. Um, this wing will gather the most attention, which would then lead you to the face. And the emotion that I'm trying to articulate on the face, I don't want to give it away, but you'll see, stick with me. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to start with our lightest tone, um, which is like that tone. Uh, and we're just going to literally just wipe the brush off and just add those tones lightly on top of everything while focusing on details. Um, same as I tattoo, it's just very tedious, like take my time. Um, and probably when we're done, I'll, I'll walk you guys around my, my, my little studio and I'll show you more, more paintings that I'm doing. Um, I'm sorry, clients. All right, I'm sorry, I had to respond to a client. And now let's find something to listen to. All right. All right, so I'm gonna start with the brighter tones first, and then we'll work them back out. And the same as I say, like when I'm tattooing, it's more so like a whip shade down, start from the base point, the lightest part, and just come down. And you can focus more here and then whip away. And you'll see how those colors just lightly, like it just lightly brings it out. It's not too much. And same, whip shade down. You can call me, I stay G working money. And you can always use your hands or the gloves. I would prefer the gloves because we have natural oils in our hands, so it kind of smudged the painting. Um, it gives it a real, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? But matte look, almost flat, and oil is very rich, so. Another thing is when I when I start a piece, I don't pay attention to the fine details at first. Um, hold on, real quick, I see something, and I jump around with the same technique, I'm just smoothing everything how it needs to be smoothing. light coming from here for the most part so off the you know you're gonna get these curvatures these hits down here um as like a secondary light source so the main light source here right everything on the back end gets is lighter everything on the floor is more darker um and you can't see down here but the shadow that was down there um let's start here with things in here too and when I paint, I just have fun, honestly. Like, take your time. Like, even if you don't take your time, sometimes you'll see me, I'll go crazy. And sometimes you just gotta let your art, um, artistic 
um, I keep saying um, I'm not used to this, <laughs> but um, it, 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 there it is again. <laughs> But sometimes you just gotta be free when it when it when it comes down to art. I, I always tell people, for me, art is more so of the way I express myself, how I show the world, how I view it. Um, it's more, it's more than just paint on board for me. It's, it's a um, way to travel into a different universe for me. Create worlds at hand. Words that you, you really wouldn't see in, in the reality of things because let's be real for me the world is boring everything is just so normal now so to be able to create something like this it's almost dreamlike if that makes sense let's give this a little round coverage so by leaving this part dark the outskirts of it Adding this this lighter part here and dark here, it shows more of a roundness to it. And then you can probably add a little highlight on the outskirts. <clears throat> and then we'll go back later with the dark starts and refine everything. And you see how I'm just I'm just painting right on top of these darks. <clears throat> if I paint on the darks, the lighter portion, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the lighter portion portion, it it blends into a lighter a darker tone, opposed to painting on like a lighter surface. And you just follow the the curvatures or the tones as as they you know go up. Um, we got this. This needs to be. This is behind, so let's leave that a little darker. Let's add a little more highlights. We'll brighten this whole place up. And right on top of those shades, right on top of those shades, and you get a lighter layer. All right. Um, keeping this dark in the background, making this lighter up here. Gonna separate this piece a little bit more. Sometimes you'll paint something and you'll never see what it is until you actually step back. And then you'll be like, okay, this needs to be darker. That needs to be lighter. So take your time, honestly. Like painting is, it's, it's fun. It shouldn't be anything other than creative. It shouldn't be like, like a job, in the, so to speak. Even though it is a job for me, but <laughs> it should still be something fun. You know, in school, growing up, they used to say, find a job or find something you love to do because it's not work. That is a lie sometimes, I won't lie to you, because it does get tedious. Um, um. My bad, y'all. Had a client call me, so got another project. That's exciting. Um,
I don't know if I'm gonna block this part out. <clears throat> but if I don't, shout out to Marcy P for the new project. That was in real time. I may not block it out. <laughs> So every now and then you will see me look back at the, the camera. I usually just use my phone instead of um, getting up every five seconds. So just so you can see, I'll use my phone to kind of see the image at hand. And then we'll go from there. So we've actually kind of built this. We need to add details from here up, more darks, and then figure out the shape. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna get a little darker. So I'm gonna take this color. I think this is my, so the color I was using first, that's my lightest tone of that said tone outside of white. This is my second lightest. Then I have another um, tone, which is my darks, my first darks, and then I have solid blacks. And this is gonna give it more of a that bluish tint color, um, mainly in this area because um, it's so dark. But we'll map out what the shades need to be. And same concept, just fan it in, kind of blend everything. I'm leaving gaps between where the darkest darks at. That way, when I'm putting the darks. It's not um, blending too much where I first start at. And like I said, you just got to pay attention. Take your time. It's no rush. Like, even if you mess up, it's still no rush. You can always paint over it, do something over it, give it some time to dry. But with oil, <clears throat> and right now for me, I don't have that luxury. I'm sorry. Um, I have to paint six pieces by... I had seven months to paint six pieces. I've already knocked out one completely new one. I finished a, um, a older piece that I started a couple years ago. Just wasn't at the skill set to do it until now. Um, and yeah, I'm just working. So I'm behind on this one. So, But we'll figure it out, right? No stress. Got no choice, actually. down a bit it's too dark I mean too light and same process you can just pull this this light portion right into the the, the mid-tone and it'll blend more smoothly and you'll start seeing it for what it is uh, just kind of blend them I don't really want too much hard lines unless we're like the darks I thought it was only going to be 30 minutes. We had 25 already. All right, so just to show y'all what I mean, um, the, whole, the whole process. Uh, so we, did, we started with the lights. We added the middle tones here to blend them out. So I'm going to go from here down. And I'll show you how I refine everything with the darker darks. And uh, so I'm gonna start with the, the brush I've been using. And I think this is my biggest brush today. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice kind of raspy today. All right, and with the darks, I'm, I'm very free with it for the most part. Because uh, we can always go back over them with the lights, but the one let's start here. I'm just kind of let that out a bit. All 
and I didn't clean my brush out. Notice that. So the tones isn't as dark as it will be. Um, makes it easier for me to blend it now. And I can just start here and just fan the dark parts out and then blend it easier into the existing layer. And pretty much the same concept, like just whip shading, I'll sometimes pack. Um, so when I say whip shading, I mean starting from here and just coming down, literally. That's whip shading to me. Same as I do with tattoo, I literally start one place, come down, or same concept, and you'll see it like, it's darker here, right? And you can do, when I, when I talk about tattoo and I say the um, paint and stroke back and forth, you see how it's more smoother. So it all depends on where, where you want the tones or what you're doing. So right now I'm just doing a back and forth paint stroke, smoothing this whole back part right here. Then kind of do the same thing, but curve it a little bit. And same as tattooing, I'll keep comparing painting to tattooing at this point because it's one and the same for me. Um, the, te the techniques, and it's easier for me. That's how I was able to learn actually, just by applying it to the board. And then after a while, I realized my how I tech, um, how I paint it was completely different. It, it, it changed overnight, but same concept. Literally, we're just whip shading, taking our time, just building up those layers. I can't stress that enough. Build those layers up because in the in the light, <clears throat> like outside or in natural lighting, it's the same thing outside or natural lighting. <laughs> but. It, it, it has, you'll see all those tones. Like, so if I'm doing a portrait, I'll start with the primaries where it's like blue, yellow, red. For those that don't know the primaries, I know I'm just had to say it, I'm sorry, but um, I'll start with those tones and then I'll build from there, go from solid yellow, solid um, blues and reds and actually transition into skin tones. And the layers get lighter. So when you're in the sunlight, you can see those bright reds piercing through those um, first layers or those solid blues um, underneath those darker browns and things of that sort. So it gives you more of a realistic feel. So same thing here. Let me just touch this. So whip shade. And I see some of the dots that's not filling in. So yeah, we're just whip shading out and not too much. So you still have that curvature at the end. That, um, you don't want to have a flat piece, that's one thing. This is lighter, but we'll jump into this a little bit, just to darken these up a little bit. And we keep everything soft with no sharp lines. No, keep it soft. Um, I gotta darken and sharpen this up a little bit. Very, very soft, very soft. All right, so let's work back up to our layers. I kind of drifted off, wait. I'm trying to find a schedule to really be able to do these lives um, or videos. I've been getting a lot of people asking me. I tried to do IG videos <clears throat> or live on IG, but it's hard to get everybody that's asked all on one video. You know, people have lives, so I figured the YouTube will kind of get a stay there every time. So you have the choice of watching whatever you want. And it's a way to teach the masses as well. Um, 
it was hard for me to, to learn how to paint in the sense of getting help until I discovered like, yo, YouTube has it all. And same as tattooing, it was hard for me to learn how to tattoo, especially getting an apprenticeship. Like, it was just hard, but eventually we got it done. And now uh, it has elevated the craft in every, every retrospect, like every manner, no matter tattoo, painting, even life is giving me some type of patience, <laughs> which I don't have a lot of, but, and I'm here, I'm here preaching patience to y'all. Like that is crazy, but you know, so you see how this one, we just put the light tones, put the mid tones and we came back smoothing it out with the, the darker tones and kind of with this piece, that dark piece, it kind of shows it's going inside. So we'll keep this one a little bit lighter, but we have to darken it up a bit and kind of map it out. And just take the corner of my, just the corner of that and just apply little lines or curvatures, be more sharp with it. <clears throat> I always pay attention to my glove just in case it's dirty. Um, I use my nail to balance. Same concept, find your darks. Just kind of blend those darks in there. I'm gonna actually bring this in a little. to here. So, like I said, we're just building, enjoying the process, and just, you know, bringing this vision to life. And it, it should be your vision, not someone else's art. And my thing is, honestly, Anytime I'm using a reference of somebody else's art, I have to do it in the sense of how I would approach the piece if it was just my piece opposed to how they approach it. I, I don't know. I, that's just me, really. <clears throat> I feel like it's like a challenge to myself. So I feel like these are too sharp. So we're going to smoothen those olives out. Let's see. After I get this, I want this to be darker. And I want to connect this as one. All right, I'm going to go back into my light tone without washing my brush or cleaning it. And I'll just push that down right into this. Add a little more. Just gonna add a little tones here. Kind of show a connection. Smoothing this out. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's um, jump back into those darks and we'll finish this area real quick and probably end the video there. So pull this in again. See that separation there, that's nice. Kind of lightly bring it up. Yeah. It's time to get some like
But yeah, comment, comment, and let me know what you guys want me to paint or if you have any ideas that I should try. Um, I'm going to keep up with this piece. This is the only piece that I'm actually showing for my show. As of right now, everything else is kind of locked away in the vault until the show. So this would be my main piece that I really post with the IG or anything, um, YouTube. And all my social medias are the same. Malo Inc. with a one instead of an I. But yeah, we just plan with it back and forth, back and forth. Same concept again, lightest color right on top of my darks. And we're just gonna pull this in. See, I hope, hope this was able to help you guys or give you some understanding. Um, oh yeah, starting off with me, when I started painting, I wanted to be able to look at something and say, hey, I want to do that exactly how it is on my first try. And it was very frustrating because that's not how I draw. For me, it's literally one line, the next line, and it's a sit back type of thing dwell with the canvas and say okay you know this is the message but now lately my my paintings have become more refined and it gives them more of a finished look as people have told me opposed to just i can always if they feel like i can always go back to it um now the ideals are more cohesive and i love the transition and you gotta appreciate that the journey there, you know. Just gonna darken this a little bit. Oh yeah. Lighten that up. One of these six, seven, so why is it so much? Oh my god, give me a second, somebody else is calling me. All right. So, nearly done. We we're able to do this portion here today. Um, probably the next time that I do a video, whenever we end this one, I'll have all this at least mapped out to look like this. So you can see from the transitions and then uh, yeah, we have to start really moving. We can't do it behind. Same process up here. Add some tones, um, shape out these feathers. So for like something like this, this doesn't make sense to me. Um, why it's shaped like that. So I'll look at the shape and try to understand it a bit more. But for the most part, we're I'm really not using the reference, honestly. Um, <clears throat> just mapping these out based on how I feel they should be done and the look that I'm going for. The reference is close to it, but there are certain things that I, I want to be included in here, um, certain patterns. And little, I call them Easter eggs. You probably, I'm not gonna give them away, but there are certain little patterns in here that, you know, kind of focus on 
There's always a message inside my paintings, no matter what the case may be. There has to be. Has to be some type of substance. And as you can see, the process is pretty much the same, back and forth, playing with darks, playing with lights, smoothing and out things. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let me put some music on so we can finish this last piece. On. Darling, I care. I care for you. I had that open right there and just by putting this line here we didn't really do too much blending just by putting one line it gives more of a curvature it shows the because the paint is so thin you can see the blacks the darks behind it same concept but not as sharp with just them hanging out like this so but up here we'll keep it as it is show that turn and then once this dries then we can actually go back and um just do a solid dark layer to add more our details and things of that sort or a solid light layer or we can just push things back um or bring them forward so just to, just to touch base on that, when you're using lights, lights, bring, lights brings things forward naturally. Um, darks push them back naturally. But depending on the light source, where the light is coming from, darks can actually bring things forward and lights can push them back. It all depends. And there's all little tricks and trades that you pick up along the line. So... Just, just enjoy the, you know, if there's you just starting or if you're um, already established in the art world, just, you know, never, never be unwilling to learn. Let me say that because you can learn from anybody or anything in the world. Um, that's, that's what makes us artists. Like we take what we see from the world and we put it into a perspective that we understand it or a perspective that relates to us based on um, how we grew up, our environment, nurture, perspective, like it's, it's all types of things. So take your time, paint what you feel. Don't, don't make nobody change who you are or try to critique you. Now, you can bounce ideas off of people. I do it all the time, but always keep your, your mindset on it. All right, so this is the debate. This is the furthest thing away from the light source, right? And it's, and it's in the behind it. Do I make that solid blacks or I stay on my darks? Let's knock them out first.
So this is how I start a piece, and this is what I was saying. So I'm very loose with the paint. I just put my darks um, on my tones where they need to be, and then we figure them out later on, especially with oil or even acrylic. Acrylic dries faster, so you can get, get to the point more quicker. But with oils, <clears throat> you can play around with the tone a little bit longer. And it all and it's uh I won't lie to you, pressure matters too. If you're too hard on the board, you'll pull up layers. But if you're gentle with the board, um, allow allow yourself to just allow yourself to receive what the board is giving you sometimes. Like you don't have to overwork the canvas, just like skin. <laughs> like just give yourself that time, you know, be patient. Again, be patient. Can't stress that enough. have to give yourself that patience so right now I'm just mapping out the, the shapes of this portion so as we're going up we're going to fix, fix everything so even though I'm focusing on this I still um, pay attention to everything else because it has to flow naturally everything has to follow so these little <clears throat> feathers are pointing down right but as you Pay attention to this point, to those points, this point, to those points, this point, to those points. Everything naturally flows, so everything has a curvature to it. Um, and it's not too, it's subtle. It's a subtle curvature. Um, same as the reference. Reference has a little more um, extra. I think it has one, two, yeah, it has way more in here. And... I actually like how that look over there, so let's bring this down. We just want to party. And this is what I mean when I say patience. Like sometimes you'll see something that you didn't see the day before or um, whenever you decided to do it. But as you're painting a new section, you'll see something that needs touching up or... You want to add something just to give the the appearance that you're looking for. Because all painting is is an illusion. Taking a a two D a three D board. Is it three D? Yeah, tripping. Um, and putting making these images actually come forward like in in real time, like as you can feel them. As you paint them, you can feel them into the natural world, and I feel like that's that's the best types of paintings or painters or artists is to be able to actually feel the work in any form, whether you can feel like you can actually venture into the piece or um, the feelings that the piece give to you. So smoothing that part out, same as here. Swing this back here, smoothing it out. And it's a dark piece under here I wanna separate. Um, I'm going to have to wait a day or so until it dries to actually be able to darken it how I want to. <clears throat> but yeah, we just jumping all over the place. I'm sorry, I'm going to actually kind of dealing with clients as well. Oh, 
somebody We want We want to I should have did one on my hair. The hair is actually nice to do. All right, so let me add these darks, and then I think we are done. What are we pushing at? We're pushing about a 52 minutes already. Um, I wanted to make a short video, actually, so let me just add these darks, and we'll be done with it. So when I say sometimes when the painting gives you these little tones right here, I love how that looks. So I'm going to keep those. And I'm going to work around it. Wipe the, the brush off and then smoothen that up a bit. And then there's another tone that was left behind. So we'll darken that up a bit and keep that light tone still piercing. And now you get more little details that you didn't even think about. It just naturally came to you and it flows. Those, to me, those details that the board gives you is, is the defining piece. That defines the piece to, to only, to, to a style that only you can do because those mistakes are only made by you and critiqued by you. Sometimes you got to see things what people can't see when it comes down to art and I think that's what art is, just enjoying the process, whether good or bad, just enjoy it. Take your time. It's almost like sex. I always tell people I compare art to sex. It's like you you, you have to take your time, you know, get, get intimate with it. Feel and let yourself be felt. Real rap. All right, don't push that down too much. Just down that up. All right, um, I'm gonna do this part right here, and then I keep saying, "Oh, see, my gloves are starting to get dirty." change gloves after this for time's sake um let's start with this one here work those tones in I'm just smoothing the bottom um, show more of a transition I can add like the darks here a little bit later but I'm just smoothing these now work this out this has like a little lighter tone here so and I'm barely touching the board here just trying to get those tones right on top of it. And then once again later, we'll go ahead back and refine it. So every day when I play around with this, I add these tones at the end of the day, um, just to give a little texture here. Um, I just follow where it needs to be darkest at. I'm not really trying to create any shapes, just more so pushing things back, adding tones, and give that grittiness, if that makes sense. And then like right here, I'll actually try to blend out a little bit.
but yeah i hope this was helpful honestly um and like i said i'm gonna try to do way more of these um way more of these i should say they're actually kind of fun But, yeah, just work these tones in, man. So I mix the blue and the light tone. I know I keep saying I'm going to end this video, but I keep seeing things. So I mix the blue and the light tone. It gives me this little tone. And we got two more minutes before it's an hour, so definitely end it in there. Um, I'm just going to pull these tones in here. Literally just pull them. Kind of map out. Smoothing this one again, smoothing everything out. And that's how I start my, or we'll start this wing. And then, so we'll go from here to this. So this is actually the transition, the, the actual stages. So we'll start rough how it was, then we'll add these tones, just where the tones are at. Uh, smoothing this real quick. That's too much paint right there, man. So we'll start from this portion here and then we'll work our way down. This will be the next level. Then this will be, the level right before we start actually adding the major details we come to a point like this and then from here we start building and adding more and more details less paint just more that's when you're just being more um observant to the actual piece itself whether it's your reference whether it's um just taking it slow um going off what your mind what's in your head and then you just go from there but yeah I think we are done with this portion here. Let's add this.
All right, my peoples, it was definitely fun. I hope that was able to help somebody, you know. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing more. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna focus on doing, keeping this piece actually one of the first pieces I actually do tutorials on because there's just so much to work on within this one, so. But, like I said, it's always fun. Thank you for tapping in. Hope you enjoyed it today, you know. Until next time, appreciate y'all for paying with Molo.